Hey lads, it's your boy Brad, and welcome back to episode 9 of World at War Wednesdays. And today I do have a couple things to talk about. One of the things being, I know a lot of people are wondering, no, I did not discontinue the podcast. I am still trying to do the podcast, but it's very hard to do right now. I'm having a lot of technical difficulties just trying to start this podcast. Even nice ray guns, you can ask Live Audacity as well. Sometimes in the middle of recording the podcast, everything will just break. Like my USB hub will just like decide to shut down. And I don't even know if it's the USB hub's fault because there has been times where my mouse and keyboard have decided to just crap out as well. But th besides that, there are other things that I want to talk about during this World at War Wednesday. I just want to talk about how the channel is doing, what I plan on doing in the upcoming months, and what I really plan on doing for the summer. I don't have a really a plan for what I'm going to do for summer. I am becoming a server and I don't know if that's going to make me have as much time as I do right now with YouTube. I'm still going to be trying to do YouTube videos every other day, you guys already know. But if it comes to a point to where I work a lot, I will end up having to do probably videos every couple of the days instead of every other day. And uh, there is, I do, I am hosting a G Fuel giveaway if my channel does hit 300 in the next month and a half. If you guys didn't see my last World at War Wednesday, the details are in there. And yes, today's map for World at War Wednesday, we're going back to Shino Numa. I think this is basically where the storyline started for everything, basically where it, where, it, where it kicked off. And we can see Peter McCain just hanging there. I don't know if, what the gameplay is looking at right now. I'm doing the voice of over after getting the gameplay. It's probably the easiest thing to do. But uh, yeah, I end up dying. Don't ask me why. You guys can see why I'm a fucking noob when it comes to grenades sometimes. And Z for C is right around the corner. I'm super hyped. I'm trying to work on this Nikolai commercial. I haven't really had time to really work on it because of finals and work. But finals are done after this week. So I should have at least one done by this weekend. And it's going to be super hype. I can't wait to show you guys. Because I'm going to put it on my channel first. And then I'm going to send it to Zazu. And then he'll play it during the actual event itself. It's going to be really funny. I might not put the entire thing on here. I might put just a snippet in one of my videos. Just to like tease up and kind of hype up the event. And I don't kind I don't want to spoil any up uh, upcoming series that I'm gonna start. I'll probably say one of them. It's a concept right now. I haven't really thought of it, thought it fully through yet. And it's either gonna be story time Sundays or siege Sundays. Or you know what? I could mix it up, do a little bit of both. I want you guys to tell me what you guys think of this idea in the comment section. Basically, it would be me playing siege. Basically, probably funny moments, me failing, cause you know. I haven't played Siege in such a long time, I'm going to get a lot of failing clips before I get any good clips again. And if you guys have stuck with this channel for a while, you know that Rainbow Six Siege is kind of where my channel started taking off. I think my most viewed video is a Siege video. But yeah, or I could do story time where I play CSGO, like surfing leafy style or some kind of other game. Or play Siege and have it be uh, Sunday Siege story time, <laughs> some shit like that. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys tell me in the comment section what you want to see. And there's this another thing that I want to talk about. It's a very controversial thing. There is this thing. So basically what this thing is, Origin PC, if you guys don't know, Origin PC is a PC company, as you can tell by the name, is hosting, I think it is a charity, they're trying to raise money for what's called GamerX, G-A-Y-M-E-R-X. And what this is, it's, it's a Twitter organization supporting LGBTQ plus video game developers and gamers. And what I have to say to this is, if you've ever played a single competitive match of CSGO, no matter what you are, gay, straight, you're gonna need therapy. So the fact that this place and I'm, I'm not bashing any sexuality right now I'm just bas bashing the idea of this actual raising money they could have chose something way more important they could have chose something with the disability gamers gamers with disabilities you know what I'm trying to say because gay gamers I don't see really the it seems like they're just it's a cash grab it seems like something that's super easy for them to just make money on I get it it's pride month but at the same time they already have their own month they don't need a charity just because they're gay gamers it has nothing to do with gaming at this point it's just a cash grab make, trying to make people feel bad oh they're gay and they game they must get hated on a lot no that's not how this works that's not how any of this works and it's just a stupid thing let's get off this topic how you guys day going I hope you guys have been having a great day I also hope you guys enjoyed this world at war Wednesday not really 
really much to talk about just kind of just little updates here and there you know that's that is what this series is about make sure to hit that like button also hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload from me there's also a little bell right next to that subscribe button make sure you hit that so you never miss any notifications from when i upload and i will see you lads in the next video